This month marks an important anniversary, 100 years since the 19th Amendment was ratified. That's the one that gives women the right to vote. The anniversary is happening a week after another historic moment. Kamala Harris, chosen by Joe Biden to be his running mate. With so many powerful women in politics today, it seems unimaginable there was a time when women had to fight just to even get to cast a ballot. But for women of color, the battle for equality is not over, not by a long shot. NBC's Rahima Ellis has more in our Sunday Spotlight. Your next vice president of the United States, Kamala Harris. Another groundbreaking moment in our nation's history. I do so mindful of all the heroic and ambitious women before me. The fourth time a woman is on the ticket of a major political party, but the first for a woman of color. A breakthrough in the struggle for equality first demanded more than a century ago by the suffragettes fighting for the 19th Amendment. We're looking at 100 years since women gained the right to vote. There have only been very few constitutional amendments that ever passed, and it was the largest enfranchisement of Americans in our nation's history. Virginia Case is CEO of the League of Women Voters. Did that amendment give all women an equal opportunity to access and to exercise their right to vote? Unfortunately, it didn't. And so we talk about this being a commemoration as opposed to a celebration, and that really is why. Black women were relentless in the cause despite discrimination. And that's why it's my job to make sure, to ensure that Ida B. Wells and all of the women in color do not fade in our history books. Tiana Farrell is the great-great-granddaughter of Ida B. Wells, an educator, journalist, and advocate for both African-American and women's rights. I'll march with my peers or not at all. Even Hollywood has acknowledged Wells' refusal to march at the back of a suffragette parade. We can't afford to lose their support. Who's we? Women or just white women? She knew that this was bigger than her. It was bigger than race. It was bigger than gender. What do you think Ida B. Wells would say today? Ladies, take the vote. By any means necessary, band together, strategize, organize, collaborate, put your differences aside, and take the vote. Did you see Ida come out a little bit? I do. <laughs> An activist herself, Tiana is carrying on her ancestor spirit keenly aware that black women had to continue their fight until the 1965 Voting Rights Act. And that fight, she says, is still not over. In certain communities, voter suppression is real. It just looks different in 2020 than it did 50, 100 years ago. Unfortunately, our ability to have participated in this democracy has involved struggle every step of the way. Representative Karen Bass knows all too well the roadblocks to progress, but she also knows that given the opportunity, black women show up at the polls in higher numbers than other voting blocks. As voters, how powerful are black women? Extremely powerful. Sometimes when you try to tell us not to vote or to go to the back of the bus, people get mad. And when people get mad, people act. Women have powered every movement throughout history. Now we finally get to lead it in front of Congress, in front of the White House. And our vote is what changes all of that. For Sunday Today, Rahima Ellis, New York.